Okay, today's video is gonna be very serious, but I want you guys to really hone in on some of these things that I did because I am going to share with you how I made my first million dollars buying and selling sports cards. So pay attention guys, here we go, let's jump in. Now the very first thing that I want you to know about buying and selling sports cards to be able to make as much money as possible and just be able to live out your wildest fantasies to buy you know, a million dollar house and a $300,000 car is that anyone can do this. It is so easy. You just have to know the tips and the tricks and the tools to get it done. And that's what I'm here for, guys. I'm here to share this with you to make sure that we can make that happen for you because every single person that watches this video is going to be able to do it by the time we get done, guys. Just stay with me. We're going to we're going to walk all the way through this step by step and you are going to become an expert and making millions of dollars selling sports cards. Now the second thing that you need to know is how to identify the right opportunity to buy cards. Like what players do I go after? What products do I buy? You know, what should I be doing to try to take that first step to make as much money as possible buying and selling sports cards? And I'm gonna tell you right now, the number one thing that you can do to make as much money as possible buying and selling sports cards and make millions and millions of dollars is find something that's really, really lucrative where you can flip these cards as quickly as possible and as easily as possible and what players you should be investing in right now. Now you're gonna hear some talk about how the market back in you know 2020, 2021 was so good for sports cards and prices were at an all-time high and they're never going to get there again and you know you could easily make money then but I just want to tell you it's as easy now as it was then maybe even easier okay but for starters I just want to tell you what I was doing I want to share my journey with you and how I did this how I amassed such great wealth from sports cards and just you know buying them and just making tons and tons of money okay so the first thing that I did did back in 2020 when the prices were at absolute astronomical all-time highs as I looked for the biggest and the most expensive sports cards that I could possibly afford okay I'm talking like max out your credit cards get a line of credit take out a second mortgage on your house those kinds of cards because you know when it comes down to it at the end of the day those are the cards that people are always gonna want you know the the six-figure cards those Michael Jordan rookie PSA tens okay and those those uh, the flawless national treasures one of one rookie autos of mac jones and justin herbert and joe burrow and all the big name quarterbacks man you got to find those cards all right you got to find the biggest and the best cards possible otherwise how are you going to make money right you got to go straight to the top man you got you can start from the bottom that's fine but you got to get to the top man you got to start there all right so this is how i did it listen up You've probably also heard the saying that you've got to spend money to make money. And that could not be more true when it comes to sports cards, all right? So what I did is I went out and I found the most expensive hobby boxes I could buy. I found boxes that were worth five to $10,000 a piece that would only give you two to three sports cards because that's what every single person wants. You know, They want to open up a box for $10,000 with a 99% chance of getting that banger, you know? You gotta get that one of one, and, and where are you gonna get that? You're not gonna get that out of some cheap product, right? You've gotta go get uh, as many briefcases and suitcases of cards that you can get, and you gotta pay as much as possible for them, because you gotta spend money to make money. So I went, and I found the most expensive product, and I bought as much of it as I could afford. Shoot, even more than I could afford. I was buying a ton, because I just wanted to hit that one of one. You know, I had to find that thing that was going to make me buy a Tesla, a house, you know? So I spent as much money as I could on ripping wax as I possibly could. And you can't go wrong ripping wax. I mean, you've got to get in there. You got to rip the packs yourself. You got to get in there with a box cutter. You got to open up the briefcase, man. And, you know, you just have to, you got to will it out, man. You got to make it happen. So spending as much money as I had and then some on wax that's like, you know, a guaranteed return, I figured how could you possibly go wrong, you know? This is this is definitely the way to start. So, you know, that's just part of the beginning of my journey was going out there and buying those expensive boxes and ripping them myself to hit bangers. Now, one more thing that was super, super important to me being able to make so much money buying and selling sports cars was to find something that nobody else was honing in on, right? There was a niche out there that needed to be filled and you know nobody else seemed to catch on to this, but this was something that I found myself, right? When everyone else out there is buying something up or going after one certain type of thing, you know, it just leaves 
it leaves other opportunity out there on the table to be had and and I found something like that so you've got to be a visionary like myself to to find these opportunities and so what I did is I realized back you know in 2019 and 2020 when I bought my very first sports card is that you know every single person is going after PSA 10s and I was like man why are they all buying PSA 10s that doesn't make any sense because anyone could do that I mean, yes, they're a higher grade. Yes, they're a better quality. But why would every single person buy a 10? You know, it just doesn't make any sense. And if everyone's buying 10s, then there's such a huge market for me to buy up all of the PSA 9s because nobody wants them anyway. I can get them dirt cheap. And then I can turn around and I can sell them for like triple or quadruple my return. So it was just this amazing opportunity that came to me where I was thinking like, man, PSA 9s are the way to go. Everyone else is seeing these 10s as a chance, you know, to make some money and yeah, sure, you can buy a PSA 10 for 1200 and flip it to 1500. That's fine. But when you're buying a PSA 9 for only 700, when a PSA 10's doing 1200, I mean, that's a steal. Pennies on the dollar for a 9. It's only one grade below a 10. Why would I not take the chance on buying up every single 9 for an absolute steal and then when there's no more 9s, and all of you bums that have no money, can't afford 10s, have to come to me and basically beg. I mean, I can set the price, man. I've got the, the market cornered. So that's exactly what I did. I went out and I bought up every single PSA 9 and below. I mean, there was even some opportunity with 8s. There was even a couple of 7s that I bought. I mean, there was so much opportunity. It was almost too much for me to handle, honestly. I had to hire a team to help me to be able to find you know all the deals because I was like, I got to spend as much money, throw as much money at this thing as I possibly can to be able to maximize my profit. So, you know, that's when I took out another loan and just decided I've got to go head first into this thing, man, because other people just aren't seeing this opportunity. So, you know, I've got to really get after it if I want to be able to, you know, live out my wildest dreams. Now, there were a couple of people who started maybe, uh, you know, a couple of weeks before I did who know obviously a ton more than I do. I mean, they had a two to three week head start on me. So they knew all about investing in sports cars already and they were experts on you know which players were definitely 100% gonna pan out in the future so I mean the other thing that I did when I wanted to make as much money as possible selling sports cards is I went to their page I went to their channel and I was like man if they've got a two to three week head start on me like I need to find out what they know I need to know everything like how are they making all these predictions about these guys that are you know backup or third string quarterbacks maybe not even in the league anymore and they knew for sure that they were going to pan out and be a starter and a Super Bowl champ one day. So I was like, you know what? I need to pay for this because spending money makes you money. So this is what I did. I went to their page and I found out the most expensive annual membership or monthly membership that I could buy. I mean, I even went as far as buying weekly memberships just to make sure that I wasn't missing any crucial, vital information so that I could make as much as possible. So I went to all their pages. I subscribed to every single thing that was out there that told me about investing in sports cards and how lucrative it could be. And I signed up for everything, man. And let me tell you how much it helped. I mean, my returns absolutely exploded after this. It was insane how much money I made after throwing some, you know, a couple thousand dollars, which is just pocket change for me, just a couple thousand dollars at some of these memberships that will tell you about the guaranteed prospects that are going to pan out. Man, it did wonders for my investment game. I mean, my portfolio now is so diversified. I've got prospects that you probably haven't even heard of and probably never will. So if you guys have made it this far along in the video, I really appreciate it. Uh, obviously, this in entire thing was a huge joke. I have never made a million dollars with sports cards. I probably never will either. I just wanted to make you laugh. Wanted to bring you some different unique content, something that you don't see here on YouTube in the sports card hobby. These are all things that kind of drive me nuts that I see out there. Little snippets of this. People try to put this into their videos and make it seem like maybe they're not really, you know, so serious about this, but I think they really believe some of these things are true. So do not listen to any of the advice that was given in this video. That was my previous self. This is me now. I uh, just want to thank you for checking this out again. If you have not liked or subscribed uh, to the page, please do that soon, and I will catch you next time.